The market is stuck in neutral. Will it shift into drive or reverse? Find out next on Invest with Jacob. So the market traded sideways for the second straight day, and I'm starting to think it has to do with the Fed meeting today. The market likes to stall when the Fed has meetings and then resume its path afterwards. We'll get to that in just a minute, but first, we have big news today, guys. Big news. One of our subscribers, Victor Tran, let me know his portfolio is up 72% in the last week because of what he's learned on this channel. You know what that means, guys. Oh, yeah. Boom! Congratulations, Victor. That is awesome. So... If you are new to the show, welcome to the show. My name is Jacob Gabbard, and this is Invest with Jacob. If you want your portfolio to go up like Victor's did, hit that subscribe button so you get these videos every day. We tell you what's going on in the S&P. We give you our trade setups and the buying opportunities, and then we tell you exactly what we're buying and when so you can trade with us. Okay, so hit that subscribe button, like the video. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, guys, now that we got the big news out of the way, let's talk about the market. It is stuck in neutral, has been for two days, and I doubt we're going to see a ton of movement before the meeting at 2 o'clock. And the Fed's not going to say anything important. The market just likes to wait and see um, and then kind of make their, their decision after that. So one thing did happen today that I really liked, and I want to point that out in the chart before giving you our final update here. Okay, so here we are in the 5-minute SPX chart. And when we made this move up on Friday, this big giant move up here, and we topped out and then faded... I'm pretty confident that this is all of wave one right here, okay, at the top. And then we started fading down at the close here. We had a big collapse, and I'm thinking this is A of, of wave two. So this is the start of wave two, and this is the A wave. Then we came out flat and came up and topped in the B wave here. And then what happened today is important. We spiked down lower, made a lower low, so we got our A, B, C correction in wave two, and now we're flat. And it's okay that it goes flat, it doesn't V-shape recover uh, out of here. Sometimes that happens, but that's not always the case. We're flat, I believe, probably, like I said, waiting on the, mar or the Fed to do their thing. And then wave three is going to start. Now this is a miniature wave three because it's in a smaller wave one, but nonetheless, it is a wave three. And wave threes trade very quickly. So when we do break out, I expect us to go straight to 42.20, somewhere in that range, 42.23. And then that will be about all of this wave three. But it'll be a one-day shot. We'll go up those 40 points and knock it out. And then we'll start a miniature wave four. And then we'll start wave five of one. So that's what we're looking at today. It looks like we have an ABC correction here. And we're getting ready to start to take off in wave three. Again, same parameters as yesterday. 41.85 is resistance right now, uh, keeping us from going up. 41.60 is our major support. If we break 41.60, we're headed down. Uh, the way the market has moved the last few days, I I don't see that happening. There's uh, there's one thing you can do, guys, when you're looking at the market and you're confused or you're wondering what's going on with a choppy pattern like this. Zoom out. All right. So what we'll do real quick is we'll zoom out to like the one hour chart. So here we are in the one hour chart. This is trading and uh, technical analysis 101. You've got your bull flag set up here. You got a huge post going up, and then you got this consolidation at the top that creates the pennant, and then we get ready to break out again into our next wave. And that's where we're sitting, waiting for that to happen today. And once we once we do that, guys, we will break out into, like I said, wave three of wave one, of wave five, of wave three, of wave five. If your head just exploded right there, I get it. This is complicated stuff, but that's where we're at. Okay, guys, so key takeaways, same as the last two days. Hold 4160 and pressure is up. Uh, first line of resistance is 4185. Target is 4200 or 4220 uh, for the next wave. So that's what we're looking for. Guys, if you're new to the channel, join my Facebook group. It's Invest with Jacob. I'll leave a link in the description below. Go check it out. The only requirements are that you subscribe to this channel and you like my Facebook page. It's all free. I give out this advice for free. Guys are making money hand over fist. Join the group. I give out real-time trading uh, analysis of the S&P during market hours. You can check it all out there in my Facebook group. All right, guys? Happy trading.